There's my child support right there. That's what I get. Now, how many of you parents out there are giving your children more money than you can afford for yourself? Like, this is ridiculous. I'm getting stroked. Now, I don't know what state he's in, but I know in Pennsylvania, you know, you can talk to someone, you know, to try to get that, get that lowered appeal, you know, man. So, but that doesn't make any sense. 1100 and only bring it home goddamn 300 and something so, dollars. So I did the math. He reveals that child support is leaving him with only three hundred dollars. But he had value after that. paying for two kids by two different baby mamas. Damn. Damn. That's all I can say. He's being raked over the coals. Shall we go to that video? Shoot it. Let's go. Boom. Fish jump podcast. Yeah. Oh. <gasps> Let's go. There's my child support right there. That's what I get. Now, how many of you parents out there are giving your children more money than you can afford for yourself? Like, this is ridiculous. That's a lot of I'm their money. Stroked. I can't believe this. I'm a bottom one right now. One child you know what I'm saying? I'm no, is getting no, more than he te- is taking. I'm mm-hmm. for money. You know what I'm saying? Uh, look, looking for duckets, son, man. Living for free and, and, and off other people and, and using government help and, and such like that. Man, I'm not doing any of that. And I'm working my ass off to be homeless, and I can't even get government. He said working his ass off to be homeless. At the end of the year. Wow. Like, Me I make too. too much money wow. to get help. And this is what I'm left with. That's two weeks. That's two weeks. Look at the month. Here's the month. Here's the month. Here is the month. That's the next one. Here's the month. 1195. Mm. I get 333. So what's that? Mm. $680, $690, roughly. $680. That's what I made for the whole month. That's my monthly income that I get to take home with me. That's why I'm home. From an eleven hundred dollar check, is why I'm he's Child only bringing home three hundred thirty three dollars. Uh huh. On the face of the planet. That's that's some fucked up shit. Yo, listen, my man, you're getting raked over the coals, man. You need to talk to somebody, some sort of of legal help, something, man, some sort of organization. Now, I don't know what state he's in. But I know in Pennsylvania, you know, you can talk to someone, you know, to try to get that, get that lowered appeal, you know, man. So, but that doesn't make any sense. 1100 and only bring it home goddamn 300 and something so, dollars. So I did the math. I did the math. I did the math. For that one check, his, his take home would have been 1041. He's bringing in three, what, 360, 390. That is a big gap. Yep. But we're going to, we're going to tie this back into the previous video. You said something. Strap the fuck up. <laughs> if you can't afford to take care of the goddamn child, don't fucking make one. Oh now, God. the first kid, okay, that slid out. It just eased on out. Child one is making is getting the most money. Well, we don't know what the circumstances are. You know what I mean? She could be in private school. That child could be in private school. That child could have additional medical needs that are not covered. Mom may be covering the insurance. He may not be contributing to the insurance. So you got to pay a little extra. What I want to dispel is the myth <coughs> that all moms or the majority of moms are using their uterus as a paycheck. That ain't no myth. Oh, that's a fucking myth. That ain't no myth. Trust me. There are women out there using their I, uterus I, as I, a listen, paycheck. I didn't say there weren't some. Yeah. I said that all or most. Oh, no, no, no. I don't think there's all or most, so but trust me, there, his, there, now, there, there are people out his, there like that. Here's the thing. Did they hit him with the child support at the same time? Or did you have child support for the first one and you still fucking around <laughs> and wanting to find out? Because if, if they hit you with the child support for the first one, that would have been a red flag. Ding the fuck ding. Let me strap yo, yo, my you, shit up. You are so stupid. <laughs> you not getting this sperm. Cut the heat. Listen, men, those of you who are listening, who have cars, when you get in your car, spring, summer, winter, Mm -hmm. fall, I don't give a damn if the car don't run. Just go in, cut it on, and cut your heat seats on. Cut the seat on, the heat seaters. Are you trying trying to say he got to heat up the sperm? Listen, I'm saying cook (laughs) your goddamn sperm. If you can't afford a vasectomy, cook your sperm. Or please stop going out here making babies. Because at the end of the day, what it tells me, one, there's child support. 
So you're not in the home taking care of this kid. And you and I have had this conversation before. Yeah. Child support covers more than just the financial issues that mom has to deal with. That means when, when Susie, they call because Susie has the cold. And so you have to come pick her up. That means what? I got, I'm, I'm missing hours because not everybody is salary. Oh, wait a minute. Well, you I, mean the daycare's closed? God damn. So that means now I got to pay Aunt Becky to pay watch Susie while I still go. Did you say Aunt Becky? Listen, nigga. This, you and Aunt Becky. Aunt Becky done lost her kids already. Aunt Becky lost <laughs> her kids. So now she's far more cognizant <laughs> of what to do and not to do when she watches little Susie. <laughs> But either way, let's be real about this. Child support is more than just the financial part of it. But because a lot of fathers are not there to offset that, they're not going to call your ass when Susie's daycare closed. They call the mom. What he needs to do is strap up. What he need, T, I see you, T. I see you, T. Mm -hmm. Somebody might see you would call him a simp. But now actually, he just can't afford to live after child support, which is true. That's true. El Plaga, oh, what's good, broski? Uh, what what he has to do, this is what he has to do, number one. The strap up. Uh, too late for that. Mm. What he has to do is go on, apply, go on and file for joint custody. Because the only way his child support is going to get lowered unless he file for joint custody. Or file to get it on the record that he needs to spend more custodial time with his with his child. The more he spend time with the child, the the the, the lower his child support payments are going to be. Then he need to go see some legal advice because I'm sure they're taking out way they're probably hitting him with the max. So they hit him with the max he probably pissed some uh court clerk off. He he pissed somebody off because that's almost seventy percent of, of his paycheck, which is that which is the max. Remember it's not just one child. He's paying for two. No, no, no. But it's there is still a percentage limit. That they can, maxed that, them out. That can be taken out. Yeah, of this yeah. They maxed them out. So the only flaw I, I can pick out is that if he is working to be homeless, you can't file for custody if you're homeless, baby. You no, he can still file. Now, where are you going to take the child? He can, he can still file. Where are you going to take her? It doesn't matter. The, so, ju the judge don't care. Oh, the judge absolutely. Let, let me tell you something. You you automatically will have joint custody. You just got to file. I don't know about. Well, let's see, because mine was in Jersey. Nobody automatically has custody. No one. It's no, no, joint. no. They will grant it to you uh -huh. as long as he doesn't have any priors or records of, of abusing of children mm -hmm. or even domestic violence. He's good. So he can file. He, he can file, and I guarantee he'll get it. He he will get joint custody. He will get it. Now, what he has to do, what he he's gonna have to spend more time with his child. He got he has to do that. Then he got to he got to file to get that lowered. That he had he just gonna sit by and complain and put your shit on the internet, which we love because that's content for us. Yay. But <laughs> you just can't sit back and just complain. You got to do something about it. So here's my question. I wonder if he did any of that. I don't think so. Because it sounded like he just sat up there and, and just got there complain. So to take it. And that's what I'm talking so, about. So, some of my young men. So stop complaining, man. Take action. So it sounds like he went out there and his semen kind of got caught out there the first time. And he didn't learn his lesson. Maybe so he, he but went out we there and did it again. Know. We don't. We don't know. Maybe he just was in love with the with those two hoes. Maybe whoa, he was in love with whoa, those two whoa, those two whoa, fine young ladies. Whoa. We don't know. I was about to fix your. We girl. don't know. As my grandmother said, "Ain't that much love in the world? Ain't that much love in the world? <laughs> You're not getting all my money." But again, he. I guarantee you. I guarantee because they aren't in child support system. Those women aren't getting those those amounts because the the state won't take their money out. I guarantee you, three hundred dollar one is probably only getting like one hundred and fifty, almost two hundred dollars. The four hundred dollars probably only getting two hundred, no more than three hundred. So let's. So he let's need be, to make arrangements with them. So let's be clear with he that, need to, though. He need to try because to make arrangements. Because there is a narrative, money. especially in our community, ladies. If you're listening, hit me up. Tell me if I'm right or wrong. Leave it that, in the comment. That oh yeah, you know we they just living it up. Oh, I'm not paying to get her nails done. I'm not paying to get her hair done. No, nigga, you are paying for your child to fucking eat. That's what the fuck you paying for. Now, if you want to cook and bring food over, if you want to bring groceries over, oh, wait a minute, it's not a good week for me to do that. Nah, nigga, this shit got to be consistent. 
So you have to be able to supply even when you can't supply. Now you can supply that dick all you want. But at the end of the nine months, when she when that baby pop out, you got to be able to supply the rest. What? Maybe it wasn't dickalicious. Yes. If they gonna be on child support like this, you better not put me on child support. You ain't get no more, no more dick. And I'm, I'm no more dick. And I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I had arrangements with mine. It wasn't until I was told to put me on child support. All right, brother man, yeah. if that's what you say you want to do. But yeah, I mean, like that's why I said he he need he need, he need to, to make arrangements. He need but but, but I mean but we don't know again, we don't know know their relationship. We don't know the relationship, but we're just speculating, speculating based yeah. on what we've been presented. And yeah. at, at the end of the day, that arrangement has to be consistent. You can't say, "All right, I'm going to pay you one hundred and fifty uh, dollars." Yeah. I'm going to pay you when I see you. And or then say, and then I'm say, you on the next check. And then say, oh, this wasn't a good week. Nigga, I don't care if this was a good week. The daycare <laughs> bill still got to get paid. <laughs> because when I don't pay the daycare bill, they're going to kick Susie out, which means I can't work. And what you going to do? You going to be living your best life. And I have to now pay Aunt Becky, who has, what, DHS issues on her own. Yeah, yeah you stop taking your kids to Aunt Becky. To watch watch I'm, Susie I'm because, begging, to, I'm begging me had too many too many too many dudes I'm in and out of her house right because even if I called you and said hey well listen I wasn't able to pay her daycare can you watch her this week ah oh, nah I'm, you know I, I got something to do nigga what you got to do is pay this fucking child support <laughs> god damn that's what you have to do <laughs> oh man this your podcast man Miss Hunter y'all I'm just give it to her raw <laughs> I'm just saying he gave it to her raw <laughs> just feel like it's just it's, it's just my turn yeah. <laughs> hit that like button leave your comment below and tell us what you think <laughs>